hello my dear students today in this video we will be doing the difficult words and who said to whom of for lesson 4 the lazy camel from your english literature book so let us start with the difficult words the first word is popular p o p u l a r it means famous second word nobel peace prize capital n o b l e capital p e a c e capital p r i z e it is the highest award given in the particular field third word beginning b e g i n n i n g it means to start with something next word is trot t r o t it means to run at moderate speed with short steps next word is hump thing h u m p h hyphen t h i n g here hump thing means a person who always makes a sound of dissatisfaction sixth word joseph rudyard kipling capital j o s e p h capital r u d y a r d capital k i p l i n g it is the name of the author who has written the story the lazy camel seventh word chewing c h e w i n g to crush the food with teeth in small bites word eight gin d capital d j i n n it is a spirit with magical powers ninth word minute m i n u t e tenth word reflection r e f l e c t i o n it means image of an object or person in mirror or water eleventh word purpose p u r p o s e it means aim or focus twelfth word saddle s a d d l e it means a seat fastened on the back of a horse so that a human beings can sit and travel on horse comfortably 13th word capital literature capital l i t e r a t u r e it is a subject 14 plo p l o u g h it means to dig the soil of an area for sowing 15th word howling desert capital h o w l i n g capital d e s e r t it is the name of a desert where the camel ox dog and horse lived now let us have a look on who said to whom the first sentence is camel o oh camel come out and trot like the rest of us this sentence was said by horse to the camel second is 3 o oh, 3 the hump thing in the desert won't work so i am going to leave him alone this sentence was said to the man by man to the horse dog and ox when the three animals went to man to complain against the camel as he was not doing any work third sentence 
There is a thing in the middle of your howling desert with a long neck and long legs and he doesn't do any work. The sentence was said by horse to the jinn. As jinn is the in charge of howling desert, when the man did not listen to horse, dog and ox, they complained against the camel to the jinn. The fourth sentence is, I wouldn't say that again if I were you. You have said it once too often. The sentence was said by the jinn to the camel. The jinn was trying to give a warning to the camel for saying hum again and again. I hope the difficult words, their meaning and who said to whom is clear to you all. Thank you and have a nice day.